Live from the dive, the hip to your hop with the grooves you can use, the flim to your flams, flailing with triplets of terror, rudiments for the studiments, master of the monkeys, the incredible incomprehensible twosome with the funk in the trunk, Jared and Dave, and their astounding roller coaster of rhythms, sideshow of showing, the hour of power. Welcome to Free Drum Lessons Live.
I just want to make sure they can see me. I think I'm a little bit taller. How tall are you? 6'5". Oh, yeah. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, welcome here. Uh, if you haven't been with us before, we do a weekly drum lesson show, and today we have a huge privilege of having Yuka here. Thanks for having us. This is Matt. I'll shake your hand, make it official. All right? Thank you. And uh, Yuka is the band that Dave plays in. What's up, guys? Dave is normally in the drum show. So Yuka's going to be playing three more songs for us really quick, and then, I don't think they can see me, and then we're going to uh, take some of your guys' questions, as well as I have some questions to ask them for all you drummers out there wondering about getting in bands, auditioning for bands, playing with bands. Matt, you got some great tips. Yeah. You said you must learn the Moeller method, right? <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> what I said. Were you saving that one? <laughs> I was. Thank okay. You. <laughs> you can, uh, Brilliant. You might want to talk closer to your mic. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sorry, man. I, nice. I ruined his joke that you, that you took like <laughs> weeks to write. I have many more. Great. So if you just got here, um, well, one thing I'd love for you guys to do is go on your Facebook, Twitter accounts and share the link, uh, freedomlessons.com slash live, okay? Share the link. Let's get as many people here as possible that share these guys' music. Um, I mean, it sounds amazing out there. Oh, that's good, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Glad. Oh, hey. <laughs> good, good to see you, man. Okay. <laughs> I feel like Conan O'Brien, but like a foot short. Okay. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm not even close to him. Okay, let's do uh, a couple more songs. Yeah, sounds good. staring in my face yeah and everyone has their obsessions which ones have you embraced which ones have you faced I'm as Shadows buried Living just below our skin And everyone's curses can be broken There's a cure that lies within
Well, we are Yuka. We're very, very happy to be here at freedrumlessons.com. This next song is called Anthem of Need. It features Dave on the drums.
This song is called Golden Your Soul. You ready, boys?
that sounded amazing. Okay, everyone in here is just going nuts. <laughs> Yuka is the next big international hit. People kind of like you. People thought you did all right, Dave. But they thought uh, <laughs> they thought you could have improved on your single strokes and your molar a little uh, bit. So. You caught me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 So you can see a chat there, guys. I'll blow this up so you guys can see what's going on. Um, <laughs> hey, say hi to Yuka, guys. Anyone in the chat, say hi to Yuka. Thanks, real freckles. Hi to you too. Hey, buds. Hey, hey. Uh, oh, there they all come. No, seriously, guys, it sounded so good. Way better than I expected it would. Thought it would. Always able yeah. and always. Um, yeah. I'm sorry, Dave. Go Dave, ahead. Dave's always. in the background. Okay, guys, um, <coughs> we're gonna take s your, some of your questions in the chat in a little bit. Right. right now, I want s I have some questions for um, the band members, so we can find out more about Yuka, okay. um, and and then we have some questions about. Drumming, how, how does, uh, what does Yuka look for in a drummer and stuff like that. Um, let's get right into this. So, Matt, where did the name Yuka come from? What does it mean? Uh, the name came from Japan, and, and it means to rock well. No, I'm kidding. Do <laughs> <laughs> you have a beer over there, Jim? Yeah. It's a, it, it actually did. It came from Japan. It was the name of a Japanese girl who had lived with us for a while. And I just Her name was, was Yuka? Her name is Yuka. Uh -huh. And I just thought it was an absolutely beautiful name. Yeah. And something that uh, anybody who's in a band choosing band names will know that it seems like every name is taken. Mm -hmm. And it was one that we realized, you know what, it just was beautiful. It didn't mm -hmm. have any crazy deep meaning to it, but. Yeah. 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 Cool. Yeah. Every, everybody loves Stella, man. Yeah. Process. <laughs> this is Justin, by the way. I don't know if you're going to introduce him, but Real this is Justin. Is really hey, guys. This is Andy. Yeah, Andy is like one of the go to bass players around town. Uh, I've, been, I've known you for like. Five or ten years now? <laughs> You're nuts. And I don't I haven't known you very long, but you've been no, you've been alive that long. What have you been are you five? <laughs> <laughs> He's fifteen, leave him alone. <laughs> <laughs> I just <turned> 20. <laughs> you gotta talk for into real. your mic. They can see you, don't worry. I they just can. turned twenty. Okay, actually. you just turned twenty. <laughs> <laughs> so you're legal in Canada, just not in the States. Yeah. Don't He's worry, man. The, the, the chicks are going to love you. Be proud of that. Be you're proud like, of that. Get him like a beer. Where's his beer? I am beer? proud. I have a beer. <laughs> okay, <laughs> well, there okay, it is. It's not an alcoholic, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So how long has Yuka been together? Because I know, I know uh, Justin's been in for nine months, and Dave yeah. has been for like three years Forever, now. Forever, Yeah. Mm -hmm. But um, so how long have you guys been going? Uh, Yuka's been going strong for, I think this is going to be coming into her seventh year. Seventh year. Yeah. And so what kind of stuff have you done? Like, I know you've, you must have some massive accomplishments during that time. So have you won any Battle of Bands? Have you... Yeah, our career actually started by winning uh, in Vancouver in British Columbia alone. They have mm -hmm. a massive competition where about a thousand bands audition for it. And we won that. And from there, that kind of just began the snowballing of winning event after event and playing uh, with everybody from the Killers at Virgin Fest to, uh, what is it, the Trues and De La Soul up at mm -hmm. the Teleski and Snowboard Festival to... Yeah. Wow, yeah, we've had some pretty awesome opportunities. Cool. I mean, the Killers, I just heard about them. They just got uh, some nominate or some award. They won the most innovative band. Like oh, really? Push Music first. So, I mean, to play with those guys is huge. Yeah. So, go buy a Yuka album, because they yeah. play with the Killers, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. So, where, I, have a, I have a question here. If you guys can see this, it says, where can the viewers buy your album? <laughs> I cleverly <laughs> integrate the question. On the interweb. <laughs> yeah. Maybe just tell them, just so they know um, exactly where. Well, you can go to iTunes and search for Yuka, Y-U-C-A, and you can get it there right across the world, as well as yuka.bigcartel.com. And uh, we're actually just getting a whole complete new revamping of our website, which is yuka.ca. So it's yuka.ca, and that'll have all the links. So give us about you know a few days, and we'll have that back up and okay, running. Okay, cool. These guys will go there. So they're going to be so. going there right there. now. Yeah. Shutting down your server. Um, <laughs> so you guys actually played for the Winter Olympics here in mm -hmm. Vancouver, hey? Tell us about that. Well, that was another one of those great <laughs> opportunities that... This was kind of a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to play for the Olympics. We got mm -hmm. to actually play uh, twice for the Olympics and once for the Paralympics. Mm -hmm. And that was an unbelievable experience. It was downtown uh, at mm -hmm. the celebration site, which was on Robson Square. Mm -hmm. uh, there was, I think, you know, almost a couple thousand people each show, which was fantastic. And it was one of those things that I can't wait to be able to, you know, look back on the careers and be able to go, we did that. Like, mm -hmm. we were there. We were there for when, you know... Canada won the gold, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which was awesome. Yeah, there's I a lot actually of watched my first here, third period of a hockey game. During really? that. Yeah, it was pretty good. So you're not a hockey lover. Oh, I love hockey. Oh, okay. no, you absolutely don't. love. Dave, I'm trying to get him into hockey <laughs> so bad. He just hates hockey. How can I love hockey? Get out of here, man. I, I like I'll Tony Tanti. <laughs> Tony Tanti, yeah, and anyone yeah. with a mustache that plays. <laughs> cool, Dave. I forget that you're there. Man, you, I know, I'm just trying to catch my breath with all this heat and this You lights. were going nuts on that last song. Do you care that he does that much? Do you like it? 
No. You don't? <laughs> no, <I'm totally> <laughs> that's well, Dave. That's the cool yeah. thing with Dave is he knows where to put it in and he yeah. knows where to, to yeah. leave it out. And yeah. that's that's really integral in, in, in a drummer is, Absolutely. Is, uh, is to judge the song and where it needs it and where it needs just to just to hold the parts together for the song. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Absolutely. it sounded so good. I agree. Mm-hmm. That's good. Like, it's, like the, it's the best I've heard you play. I, I'm just saying. I concur. I'm just saying. Like, who said that? Justin. <laughs> Who's over there? I forget that you're we there. We rehearse every week. And this is Set the us best. up with a show in the Okanagan and we'll be there. Um, okay, you guys, this is a question for uh, Justin. <laughs> Sorry, man. Justin, Matt, and Andy. Uh, what do you guys look for in a good drummer? Okay, for all you drummers out there right now, I need you to listen to this. Okay, if you want to get into bands, if you're auditioning, if you have friends in school and you're in your, you know, would love to play with them, listen to these tips that these guys are going to tell you right now. Andy, uh, why don't you start? Or, I'll go first just because okay. I have to say this joke, but we'll tell you when we have a great drummer. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> Dave, I told you I was going to say that one. No, you didn't. And you're right. Yeah, I don't, think, ahead, I don't think they agree with you. So. Yeah. <laughs> they, they, you guys like Dave, right? Throw Dave I stuff. have a following, I hope. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they all love you. Okay, Andy, yeah. so what do you look for in a drummer, man? Um, well, it's... It's just really got to connect with everything that's going on. So mm-hmm. uh, someone who's open to hearing what's going on in the room with all the other instruments mm-hmm. and, and, and connecting with that and not playing for, for you know, for necessarily his own sake, but for the sake of the group together. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, that's just integral, right? Yeah, cool. What about you, Justin? I got to agree with Andy again. <laughs> I concur. Yeah. Uh, the chemistry, the connection, and uh, like just to look at the drummer. And um, just feel what's going to happen next is really, really cool. Cool. And he's, he's really good at that. Yeah. I feel the chemistry. Charisma. Charisma. Yeah. And so you said that... I'm not going to use your, another joke of yours. But <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to use the other joke that you said in there. Those are so no, good. No, I, like, I <laughs> absolutely agree with everything they've said. I think um, I'm more of the superficial side. He's got to be good looking, curly hair. <laughs> Uh, right. Like to wear black, yeah. uh, that kind of stuff. <laughs> Fortunately, we have Dave. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'll tell you, you said he has to play with batter to be stiffs. Mm, it's it? true. Yeah, I think I said Vader. Oh, Vader. Vader. <laughs> Sorry, I'm Was it, is it batter? I play Vic first, so I don't even oh, know how to yeah. pronounce Vader. I call him Victor first. But <laughs> I I Victor like, first. Yeah. No, it, there's a huge difference between having. I think there's a lot of guys too that. Uh, they will practice and practice and practice in their room and they'll be an unbelievable, I'd almost call them more of a percussionist than I will a drummer. Mm -hmm. Um, But they're absolutely incredible and then you get them in a drum situation uh, with a band and they're performing with a band and I mean, I've seen it before where actually people have said, well, that drummer's actually not that good Mm -hmm. but it's because they just don't understand the drummer and that's one thing that I really appreciate about Dave is Dave has, I mean, the bands that Dave loves are not really necessarily the bands that I love. But the great nope. thing is, is that he brings that element into Yuka. Mm-hmm. And that's what sets Yuka apart, is being able to take those elements. And I definitely agree with Andy that he's very, uh, he has a lot of wisdom when he plays. So he knows mm-hmm. where to bring things in and where to drop things back and, and to play as a unit. And that's yeah. what's great as a band, is you need to be able to play as a band. So, yeah. yeah. That's great. He holds us great. together. Does he? He is our foundation. That's true. Aww. Our rock. Aww. That's true. That's he wants to totally hug. Yeah. Open mouth uh, hugging after this. It's all after sweaty. <laughs> Dave invented the open mouth hug. It's unbelievable. <laughs> You're a funny guy. <laughs> okay, next question. <laughs> um, Andy, how important is it uh, for the bass player? Like for you, how important mm-hmm. is it for the bass player to match up, um, or for whatever you're playing to match up with Dave, like or his kick drum or anything? Like, um, yeah, like obviously it's in- integral that we're. We're knowing what's going on. Uh, to lock specifically with a kick drum mm-hmm. is 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 got to happen. But even I think even more importantly, that is not to just narrow it down to the kick drum, but it's the whole kit in itself. So I know. I mean, when I'm when I'm playing with Dave, mm-hmm. I, I listen to uh, <laughs> I listen to his whole kit. And so mm-hmm. if he's doing a fill, I'll try and I try and learn what he's doing and kind of try and guess where he's going to go with a fill mm-hmm. and I'll try and play along with it so it doesn't sound messy if I'm if we're doing fills at the same time and we're not together it's just going to sound like a mush but yeah. if we can be rhythmically together then um, that helps everything and then just creating the groove or, uh, you know some of the grooves that we've created just off of playing off of different parts of you know the kick drums integral but even how the hi-hat comes into that mm-hmm. you know to leave space for for the whole for the whole thing to happen yeah. great I, now I, that's uh, oh, I'm going to add to that yeah because um, all those drummers out there who are thinking, oh, the bass player has to follow me. That's not always true. You also have to follow the bass. Like when I'm playing with a, any mm-hmm. bass player, whether it's Andy or I'm playing another group, you always you always want to stop and listen to what he's playing at the same time and because it turns into a battle where if you're just playing what you think you want to play or playing what you want to play, you're not molding, right? So mm-hmm. it it's, it's goes both ways too. Yeah, I totally agree. 
Cool. Um, Matt, what sort of direction do you give Dave? Like when you write a new song or, or when you're in the studio or something, what kind of direction do you give him? How particular are you with drum parts? And what kind of tips do you have for the people who have to work with, you know, pr people who are particular? Yeah. Uh, that's a funny one because I don't know how many times I've given Dave the old Pat Boone, Debbie Boone. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But it's one of those things that like I trust him as a drummer. So um, I'm really actually thankful as a drummer. One thing that I could recommend to drummers is that you're a different breed. So <laughs> if you can be gracious with the people in your band that may not know how to explain what you're doing or what you're hearing in your head. Um, it's one of those things that I, I really appreciate with Dave being able to say, Dave, I'm really hearing like and I'll and I'll kind of play it. Yeah. And even though he's got a big grin and I know he's thinking, what a. <laughs> dick. Dick. What a dick! Yeah. Like, you can he's just dick. like the guy has no clue yeah. what he's talking about. Yeah. On the other hand, he'll he'll humor me. And he'll play yeah. something that's along yeah. those lines, and uh, and that's one <laughs> one thing that. What did he say? I don't know what did he say? Nothing. I'm just joking. Uh, okay. <laughs> it's it's one of those things that um, I like I and all of us collectively are, are actually really relying on Dave to um, to capture the essence of a song. So um, you know, a lot of times people go, "Well, this is my part, and it's the greatest part," mm -hmm. and it's like, well. If that's true, then you might as well put your instrument down because you're never going to write anything better then. But mm -hmm. for a song, you want to write collectively. So it's like, okay, is this part bring, does this part make the song better? Mm -hmm. And so when, I, when we have an idea and we come together, really we, we rely quite heavily on Dave actually to, yeah. um, mm -hmm. to feel something. out. And honestly, we can have a slow song that has a faster beat and it takes it completely different direction than if he takes it slow. Mm -hmm. And that's something that if he's feeling it and he's really feeling it, then we go with him and we trust him. So yeah. That's great, man. Um, that's all lies. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a sound hey, good. Yeah. So, so no, Dave, <laughs> Dave auditioned for you guys, all right? He did, yeah. And so, what kind of tips do you guys do you have for drummers? You know, auditioning because uh, you were looking for a drummer. You probably auditioned more than just Dave. We did. Um, you ended up selecting Dave. Great choice. Mm -hmm. But uh, what <laughs> kind of tips do you have for selecting different drummers? Andy, you want to take that? Yeah. Um, don't bother showing off right at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> May, we're, like when we were auditioning, we we're like, can you play the songs in time? properly with good feel because mm -hmm. once that's taken care of like the the uh the extra stuff i mean we kind of assume that the guys that are auditioning are of a certain caliber already mm -hmm. that they can they can do fancy stuff but so once but yeah <clears throat> it's not necessarily guaranteed that a, a fancy drummer can play all the uh the simple stuff as well yeah. so <laughs> what's that Please move for Dave, because he's the unimportant <laughs> okay, drummer. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, and so, like, so just, just to clarify that this, the songs he are, are able to be played end time, and it feels good mm. together, yeah. right? And then it's like, okay, now that we're, we're confirmed that that's possible, where can we take the song? So yeah. add your character to them um, and, and see, see if that character comes out. Uh, it well with the, with the rest of us and yeah. both those worked out really well so Dave like what kind of stuff did you did you want to say something I'm sorry I, I was it. just going to let someone know that yes we're playing more songs okay yeah, yeah they're playing <laughs> we'll, songs. we'll play more songs too if you have questions directly for us too just info at yuka.ca okay, yuka.ca yeah. yuka .ca, and I'll answer some more of those the email boxes later. is going to be packed that's all right. okay. way to go man. get to all these <laughs> um, Dave yeah. maybe just tell them what kind of stuff did you work on uh, before going on aud to audition with yuka yeah, well, when I when I decided to audition for them, I obviously got their album, and I played it on repeat, nonstop on my iTunes. In fact, if if everybody uses iTunes, you can check what your top most played songs are, and it's the Al Yuka album. So I definitely listened to it nonstop to try and see what kind of music, like these are their past albums to the ones that I wasn't part of. Tried to hear what the, their drum was doing, so I can kind of bring that familiarity to it. Familiarity. 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 Anyway, you, you, you it's can, Greek. <laughs> <laughs> and then what I did is I tried to watch as many live videos as possible because yeah. that's where you're going to be playing in a live show, right? So I yeah. went and checked all their YouTube videos out, and I, um, I got the, I tapped out on the metronome because they didn't know, Matt didn't know, and Andy didn't know the, <laughs> the click of the. You ask how fast they were. I say yeah. this one's fast to medium to fast. This is yeah. the fastest that we've so, ever played. This is way faster. <laughs> So I, I counted out the um, or tapped out the the tempos, wrote them all out, programmed them into a metronome, yeah. and just practiced. You know, cool. Um, the hardest part, because you don't know the songs at first, is memorizing the structure, like the verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, solo, blah blah. Yeah. yeah. But that that's pretty so much. Just it. know the songs. Know the songs. Yeah. Well, one of the things too is Dave. Um, one of the parts of it is we actually had video auditions first. We wanted to make sure because this is somebody like when we. We're very protective of the band, um, and it's something that to us, you know, we wanted to make sure that we were introducing people that uh, deserved to also be there as well, because uh, we really felt it was an honor to be able to introduce new people. So, um, <laughs> somebody loves hey, you, Hey, Maymay. Another a girl somebody loves, loves you. you. Uh -huh. Someone knows my brother. 
So, uh, Dave actually sent in <laughs> some videos Lampanel. first, which was really great because it was a chance to get a, uh, it was a better chance to get to know who Dave was as a drummer. That made it a lot simpler too. So yeah, when right. he did show up knowing every single song, and it yeah. was better than we'd ever played before. It was yeah. very easy and very obvious because a lot of other drummers showed up and just planned on impressing us with their spontaneity and, um, well, check me out. I can solo yeah. the whole time. And it actually was like, wow, we cannot play with you. And we would actually tell them, please just play the song. And they hadn't learned it. And mm-hmm. so we're like, well, if you haven't learned it, that just shows us right off the top of the bat that... You're not maybe, willing to practice. Maybe you're not willing it, to yeah. practice. I mean, we practice over three times a week, and those practices are serious practices where we get in. And I mean, even if we get a new pedal, you got to learn that new pedal on your own, not in rehearsal time. Rehearsal right. is there to work. It's not yeah. there to to goof around. So. Yeah, I I totally agree. Cool. The Reader's Digest version. How do you get shows? Uh, it's pretty simple actually. Rehearse like crazy. Get your get your stuff in gear. Record some quick demos. So you're able to send them out to people in clubs and yeah. and pubs and bars. Uh, make sure that the best quality that you can do. Yeah. Uh, make sure that you've got that set up like crazy. Uh, if you're in rehearsals, try and set up so that, like right now, you can see that we're actually set up as if we're performing. Uh, when we're actually writing, we'll turn around and face each other so we're able to communicate a little bit easier. So mm-hmm. in your rehearsals, set up live so you're not looking at each other. A lot of people can only play when they look at each other. Uh, make sure you get your live show set up so when you go to play that they're not like, wow, this CD is so not you. Mm-hmm. And as soon as they recognize that you're better live, it'll start, word will start spreading. And you've got to work your butts off. You have to be, you're the biggest promoter. You believe in it. So cool. uh, promote it like crazy. Okay, okay. I'm going to do one more thing. I wanna, I'm going to kind of give these drummers an idea of you know, how it is to work with a producer. So if you're playing something, they come and they want to change something, and then they can hear the change thing. So what I'm going to do is, I never even told you guys about this because I wanted it to be live Gosh. on the fly. I didn't want it to be one of those things that was... Um, planned out like you're all actors. Like, I mean, you're an actor, clearly. Um, so, <laughs> I'm just joking. What? <laughs> I'm just joking. I, I didn't hear you. You didn't hear me? Okay. Can just I smile then. Man, you have a nice okay. smile. Don't worry about it. Let me about switch it. around you too so when you yeah. walk away, you don't take um, the cable with. So, yeah, I want you guys to play it. You're the start of your, our, our song, whatever, Matt. You can sure. kind of say whatever song you want. And then I'll come in and I'll just give you guys some direction. I'll do a little lick. You know, okay. So and, uh, so we're yeah, just jamming. Just yeah, just jamming. And then we're I'll come jamming? in. Yeah. 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 Well, whatever. Matt, Matt will. Matt will uh, direct you guys and then I'll come back in and we'll hopefully give you guys some direction we can go from there okay okay cool okay you start I don't know what we're doing I was listening to it out there. I don't know. It's like, I know you guys play the tracks and stuff a lot, so I didn't know if it needed a track or anything, but what, what I was want? thinking... What's that? What do you want? I was thinking it... I think, it, honestly, I think it just needs cowbell. I know it needs cowbell. Oh. Like, I think oh, cowbell with it would just be the way do to I go. Do I have cowbell on this? No. I don't think I, I do. Act, Dave, don't worry. I actually brought in a pro cowbell player. Oh, really? Perfect. To jam with yeah. you guys. Because I figured we probably need some cowbell in this song. Oh, so cow- I wanted to... You brought in... Just a little bit of cowbell, right? Yeah. So I brought just in a, a pro cowbell player. Come on in. Okay. Hey, Steve, come in. Okay, Steve, come in. Oh, no. This way, so sporting the new hot pink. Uh, <laughs> freedomlessons.com t-shirts. Oh, my goodness. So... Nice. I mean, Steve, I, I know you're a, you're like a pro cowboy. <laughs> okay, you can talk to him. Yeah, one of the best. Okay, yeah, and... Uh, played, you're on, uh, you opened for... Um, the cowbell band. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, Steve... I can't believe this. Steve is like... <laughs> if, if you... If you're in Vancouver and you need a cowbellist, you guy. call Steve. <laughs> uh, he's just amazing. Like, the way that you hold right, the cowbell... are we going to hear his skills? Okay, so let's... Uh, let's do it up. Let, let's hear how it let's sounds it. with cowbell.
awesome. It doesn't really work. So, okay. That awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, we're just joking. You guys, <laughs> thanks so much for coming out. I'll come, I'll come <coughs> and say a thank you again later. They're going to play four Where's more songs for you now. He's going. It's, I don't know if it works. Oh, no, I want him in our band. <laughs> okay. Steve. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That was okay. so good. Thanks, guys. Okay, let's keep going. A couple more songs here. Four that more. was beautiful. This song is called Tomorrow, and it's a... Uh, it probably needs a bit more cowbell. It's a brand new song. It's called Maybe We'll Riot. You ready, Andy? Your fingers ready? One, two, three. Let's do it.
that have infested in our hearts. So much power still flows through our veins. And our soldiers still have soul and fight and power in our bones. There's power in our bones. Yeah, we'll light this place on fire. Yeah, we'll fill it with desire. We're sick of them degrading. And you know, you know who you are And we're sick of all the bastards always Grinding us to the ground If they're not careful, we'll start a war Maybe we'll riot, maybe we'll fight for all The things we're dreaming for The things we This is the very last song. The song is called Touch. We are Yuka. Very honored to be here. And uh, we hope you guys check us out online.
myself carrying shame in bags acted like a fool oh who am I fooling here I believe fool myself is there Shame upon my lips Thanks very much for having us, everybody.